And we're back! The Taurus Collective, here with Synthetic Dawn. Obviously, we've upgraded the game to 1.9, so we got a little bit more stuff going on. I mean, the problem I have right now is that it just... It's slowing down to a slow... Oh no, Tuberek is dead! God damn it, my best general! Wait, what? General. Oh, one of my generals has died. Well, that's not a problem. Oh, for a second there, I was like, oh my god, Tuberek is dead. Can't have that. Um, somehow, one of my... Let's just get an immortal leader on there then, I guess. Still though, it's 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 completely slowed down to a slog. It's it's not the greatest anymore. I'm not having the biggest amount of fun with this one right now. But uh, you know, for the sake of entertainment, uh, we'll uh, we'll continue onwards. There we go. The energy. It, it's kind of like with the. Um, let's take a look here. It's kind of like with what we had with the Mankind Prevails, that uh, we uh, we are so big that it becomes difficult to handle a lot of the stuff. Um, and that's sadly a thing. Can we vasalize these guys if we really want to? Uh, no, that's just not, not on the table right now. The regulators are gone, the Erebot is gone. It's just the Bernathi Zealots on the other side of the galaxy that are the biggest problem right now. Uh, our fleets are expanding quite rapidly. We got 2,400 fleet power, which is quite significant. We got new cruisers coming out pretty much constantly. New battleships coming off of the factory floor. There's... Uh, okay, interesting. Okay, that is the Bernathi Zealots. Who've decided to relieve this planet. They're going to have to move quick because in about a month's time, this planet's going to be completely sterilized. Actually, they're not doing anything. They're just leaving this planet for what it is. Where are you guys going? Entering orbit around sterilization hub 04. So that is this one, I would say. Yeah, so sterilization hub 04 uh, is going to be bombed into the ground very soon. Uh, we have about 400,000 fleet power right now, which is should be more than enough to do pretty much anything we want. Uh, we can actually reset this as the main point for ships to join. And uh, ion disruptors, energy credits, mm. mm. archimeters, 45 months, shield points, these, these all take friggin' forever. Uh, let's just go for arc emitter and then uh, Alert. turn that off. Organic. Okay, so two fleets of 200k, definitely not insignificant. Especially if we can set them up properly. I thought, there was, I thought this world was being colonized. Yeah, there's already a planned colony on this planet. Uh, that's actually a good question. Have I set this up to be... You know, they have all jump drives, right? Yeah, okay. So, construction ships, these all have jump drives, so... Oh, good lord. This one does not have... Yeah, Fortress is fine. Just a lot of DPS here. Uh, we could probably set this to... Yeah, let's, let's put a Stormfire Auto Cannon on this. I don't care. Armor, it's all Neutronium, power, relays, etc. Uh, okay, so 2.8k a month. We have 51,000 minerals in our pool. Uh, just waiting for this Dyson Sphere to be 100% and online, and that will give us another. Uh, it's uh, going to be. It's going to be in the next segment. It's going to be online in about a year's time. So uh, we have too many minerals right now, and not a lot of places to spend them on. Construction uh, complete. I guess we can add more battleships and cruisers. Technological acquisition successful. It's just <laughs> we have to, we just have more resources than we know what to do with, and I guess this is also how these fallen empires kind of quote unquote fall. Uh, there's just not a lot of stuff they can do at at some point. And, uh, we can sure we can assimilate the entire galaxy, and but this is going to take time because of the Sanguine Pact, uh, and these guys. Really don't like us very much, because we are a threat, which makes sense. And uh, they are just rebuilding their fleets, which is totally understandable. Uh, when can we go to war with you guys? Declare war. It's still three years away. Three years is more than enough time for them to rebuild their fleets and do something useful with it. The Sakita regulators mound up. You're never going to have enough resources to do anything with this, and these pops are going to be... Killed off very soon. 
seven months time you don't have the firepower to do anything with this these regulators are gone they are dead is this the last planet they have i'm pretty sure they have more no really this is their last world wow that's the last regulator world Oh, no, they've got one more. Okay, so they just have this, uh, their capital world. The Great Crisis threatens every sapient life form in the galaxy. Reason just dictates that we put our differences aside and fight together. I don't think so. You will always be assimilated. See, we could declare war on these guys, but I don't think that would be a very good idea. Uh, we could actually... Only independent empires are allowed to have subjects. Uh, like, I would like to turn these three into a vassal and just be done with it. Or construction, like, especially these empires are a huge pain in the rear and just want to get rid of those. Construction, uh, this regulator stuff is going to be gone soon, so we'll have uh, additional territory to play around with. Let's just uh, start building these mining stations on these worlds. Because this is going to be additional territory for us to defend. The problem then is, is the contingency going to go after Boone and Core or Ezio? Uh, is this a Core world? It is. Wow. So we've expanded to the point that all the contingency worlds are now with pretty much within our territory. This sterilization hub is going to be toast very soon. Construction complete. We may as well do something about... Yeah, 339k. Like we have the fleet power. Tuberek is here. Lithamar is here. Sure, he's lethargic, but whatever. Um, let's undock both the fleets and let's move them out. We're well over our fleet cap. Sal, uh, it's one of our worlds that we're just getting a bunch of resources from. Let's just actually cancel all of this stuff and put a cruiser assembly yard in here. And then do it like this. Uh, over time, this is going to speed up the process quite significantly. So. We just have so many worlds. So many planets. Pretty much everywhere. Like There's a bunch of old stuff just floating about. But it's not really an issue. Fen I actually am surprised how strong Hideous actually still is after all this time. Like they were... Wow, the Decron sequence is still a thing. Not for long, I guess. The third, they've got 13k fleet. Oh, it's a Felnol shipping alliance. So Golden Flower is pretty much on its ass. They got a lot of armies, defense ar defensive armies. That's a robot uprising they got going on down there. Acquisition successful. Kinetic weapon attack speed, always nice. 109 months, damn. 64 months. Explosive weapon damage, it's missiles. That does not include torpedoes, by the way. Torpedoes are energy weapons. At least the proton torpedoes are. Uh, yeah. No, neutron torpedoes. Complete. We could put devastators on there, I guess. On paper, it does do a little bit more damage. Yeah, machine world destroyed. Sterilization hub 004, the machine world in the Cothinian system has been destroyed. After being subject to heavy bombard uh, orbital bombardment, the planet's AI core self-destructed to prevent capture by triggering a massive antimatter device hidden deep within between the surface, beneath the surface. With the destruction of this planet, the ghost signal has lost an important relay station and the strength of it has waned considerably as a result. In addition, the explosion of the planet has... Uh, Spread a large deposit of living metal across its surface. The strange material has several unique properties. And uh, Sterilization Hub 004 is gone. There's still one more planet in here. Are they going to take it or not? That's the, my question. But the Sterilization Hub is gone. Uh, there's still this other Sterilization Hub over here. Yeah, they've, they've completely destroyed this. Let's send in the fleets and uh, take care of this uh, of this force here. It's three hundred thirty-nine thousand fleet power. I don't perceive any problems with that. Yeah. Okay. They're looking to engage. That's half a million fleet power I got on the field right there. A little bit less, four hundred eighty k. But you get the general idea there. Um, ba -ba -ba -bum. how's when is this fleet assets engage? How's this Dyson Sphere doing? Let's max it out. One more, and it's going to be done in 1500 days. 
Do we actually have master builders? I don't think we do. We just have Galactic's Wonders, Circle of Life. Oh, well, we do have master builders. Plus Living Metal, which I believe we have some from, will increase our uh, Living Metal. Mega Structure build speed plus 30%. So, in combination with Mega Structures, Master Builders, Circle of Life, Galactic Wonders, basically means that we can build everything really quickly. I wonder how many battleships we're going to lose here. Probably a lot. 61 in the line. They've got 40. But their destroyers are just getting riggedy riggedy wrecked. That's just, uh, yeah. Like 80 cruisers gone, maybe here? I don't know. Let's just, uh, convert all this for minerals. 20k. That should be enough to uh, replace anything that we lose here. And their shields are gone. That's the proton torpedoes, and now the kinetics can uh, wrap everything up. Yeah, a couple of battleships down. Complete. Like 30 of them, I think. And they're toast. Good. Construction complete. All right, let's um, let's just put an end to this. How many units did we lose? We don't know yet. We still have to take on the station, but uh, all their base units are gone. Pretty easy stuff so far. Uh, we've got overwhelming fleet power. Let's just start. Rebuilding our battleship lines, I guess. Like, our ships are completely and utterly overwhelming. Two squads of 206,000 fleet power is more than enough to do pretty much whatever I want. The problem is the enemy are not centralized, which means that they will uh, bounce around quite a lot. Oh, look, the task force is trying to take down their, their stuff. That's fine. Yeah, they're just bombing this into oblivion. That's the zealots. Just waiting for their drop squads to go down to the surface. Which should be soon, actually. 70,000 fleet power being grounded up here. Uh, especially considering we didn't get uh, the Defender of the Galaxy, which would have done an additional 50% of damage to the enemy, but considering our income, our resources, it's just not high on the list of priorities right now. Besides, the station is getting eating so much damage right now. How many battleships do I still have left? Yeah, that's an alright number. Probably lost about 30 of them. And as soon as this planet is down, the final... The final world will open up. Losses. Marginal for the moment. Oh, we're just attacking one more thing. Okay. Oh, there's a the okay the attack craft joining the battleships again. All right, let's take a look here. Eight battleships, six cruisers, seventy cruisers, one battleship. Seventy cruisers. That is a lot of ships. That just got went into the grinder. Seventy cruisers. That's actually far more cru uh, cruisers and destroyers than I thought I would lose. Like, I would, would have thought that their fleet power would mostly take down the battleships. But we should be okay. Besides, we're gonna nuke this planet from orbit. Uh, 
else is Outer World doing? Actually, well, this is happening. May as well. Let's just sneakily take this world before they can do something about it. Yeah, these guys are just bombing that from orbit. But maybe we can uh, steal that uh, that world away before it becomes a problem. But then the core is going to open up. The contingency core, that is. I have so many ships here, it's just kind of ridiculous. That is over... Yeah. <laughs> In honesty... Could I merge the fleet? Nah, almost. I could I could split this in half and join it in that. But yeah. Uh, let's straight for some minerals. And then uh, let's continue building cruisers. Construction complete. I need to replace 80 cruisers. Uh, it's pretty doable. Quarter way there. Not entirely sure why the Bernathi zealots are not putting their dudes on the ground. Yeah, you're just, you're just one jump out, and then we're gonna take this system. Oh, and the game is frozen. Uh, uh. Okay. Uh, governor has leveled up. Oh, this governor is great. Level 8 out of 10. Into analytical cyborg and bulldozer. Planetary pacification protocols initiated. Let's take a look if we can actually... <laughs> They're putting the psionics on the ground. That's hilarious. Yeah, a little bit late there, boys. There's no more space on the ground. Yeah, this is going to be our planet then. And they're broken. Bye-bye. And it should be my world. Ground invasion units have achieved all objectives. Liberation. We have wrestled control. Uh, yes, we will prepare for immediate settlement. This is our world now. Uh, Construction should... complete. Which sector is this? Is this... Stir? No. Is it core? Could be. Uh, Boone and Core. I, I kind of don't want to min, min max all this stuff. Which one is it? Is it Cat Dog? No. Fat Man? Yeah, it's Fat Man. Okay. So we'll just uh, add this. And this is going to be our new system. Boosie. And this is going to be our new planet. Oh, and that is gone. Let's take a look. So this should give us a little bit more territory to play around with. There's another planet here as well, actually. Funnily enough. Perfect. And another world added. That's uh, the Bernafi capital fleet. I'm not really interested in that. We can't land the armies here, funnily enough. Hmm, interesting. And meanwhile, the rest of the fleet are, is uh, destroying the sterilization hub. And there's still a bunch of worlds that we can colonize in here, so... Maybe, uh, actually, let's go and do that. Let's just add these planets to the Fat Man sector. And just commence colonization procedures. Food we don't need. Wow, this world is huge. Huge, man. The heart of contingency. With the destruction of all four machine worlds, scientists have managed to deduce the origin point of the ghost signal. It is coming from CX-89881, a previously uncharted star system on the galactic periphery. This, is has, this has to be where all the synthetics that fell under the sway of the signal journeyed. The contingency will remain a threat until this final system has Situation been dealt with. 
And it's super far away. <laughs> yeah, there's no way we're going to be able to take this. Critical error. Connection lost to all sterilization hubs. Attempting to reconnect. Stand by. Uh, attention, please. The contingency protocol is still in effect. Despite recent setbacks, delay impediments, do not approach. CX-989881. Do not approach. We are reevaluating our strategic options. Any attempts to disrupt the process will result in immediate mass sterilization of the offending units. Well, there it is. Next zero one, the last planets. Communications alert. What do you want? Star charts. Sure, Dacron. Entity has decrypted our communications. Invasion over. Blah -de blah. Ooh, there's some liquid, uh, some living metal on these worlds. Oh, I will have me some of that. It's a lot of resources floating about here still. It's another two worlds that we can colonize. It's a lot of peripheral worlds here that uh, are definitely on the list of colonization goals, but yeah. Can we go to war with you yet? No. Uh, next year. Cool. Uh, we're going to need to carve a hole through the Sovereign Farine Nations in order to reach CX-9 or 881. So we need to take Rakaron, Ruckbat, maybe Gemma, basically these five, maybe these six, in order to carve a, a road to uh, the uh, contingency core system. We'll see how that goes, but uh, we'll take a look at that next time. Thank you so much for watching. Until, what? Until next time, take good care of yourselves, and as always, each other.